minute you chuck a bucket of cold water over me. I was supposed to be gone by six. Because I'm trying to keep death off the roads. You need sleep. You're starting to look like a corpse. <sighs> well, if we weren't brassic, I wouldn't have to be working every hour, God sense. What do you want me to do? I'll worry about you, that's all. Where is it today, then? Sunny scunny. Yeah. I'll be back as soon as I can. No, just be safe. If you feel tired, promise me you'll stop and have a break. All right. If I don't get it in the neck for being late. Mm. See you later. See ya. There's someone to avoid. Well, it must be love, if he's making that sort of sacrifice. Yeah, either that or the fact that she'd probably send the death squad in if he tried to back out. Right, well, um, just give these drinks to Nicola. I thought we were supposed to be cheering her up. We are. Give me strength. I know she means well, but Betty's really on one today. <sighs> just today? I've never been the same since she made me scrub the toilets in Elm Farm. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, it's your fault, your rule. New girl does bogs. Oh, well, I'm glad that's put a smile on your face. <laughs> oh, I'm just in a bad mood. It's just when she starts on about Mum. Hmm. Nothing you haven't said yourself. She must be chuffed, though, your mum, I mean. Yeah, I guess so. I just hope it pans out better than last time. You think you can spend that much time apart from someone and it still works? Well, for them. It's a secret to a happy marriage. Maybe I should ask Ashley what he thinks about a sabbatical. Seriously? Are you two all right? Oh, don't be daft. Would mean him learning to use the iron. Probably get Gabby to do it. Huh? <laughs> do you know running? On the plus side, you get your box room back. Yeah, for now. Ashley's hell-bent on making it an office. I would quite like a walk-in wardrobe. Or a padded sofa when the kids aren't behaving. For you or for them? Oh, it'd be the only way I could get a bit of peace. <laughs> Dad just... He just wants it to be OK. And I want the same for him. Though I don't suppose he needs my help on that score. He's one in a million, your dad. You won't believe it. After all these years, I finally found a use for him. Yeah, you be careful. I'm doing you a favour. What have you been saying? Well, after a week of child mining, a bit of cellar work will seem like a merciful release from captivity. I'll see you later, Dad. Bye, love. Do you think I'm completely incapable or something? Oh, yes, love. What can I get you? I was thinking you might be in line for a bonus, that's all. Well, the sooner you get home, the sooner you'll find out, won't you? At speed limits, remember. <laughs> Don't be filthy. Not before you get home, anyway. Anyone we know? He sounds keen over the phone, but I'm not sure it's working. Well, his hints go. It was fairly broad. I shouldn't be having to try so hard. I mean, what's up with him? He'd sooner be working than at home. Have some words been exchanged, maybe? I know I could start a row in an empty house, but if I was going to have one with Jimmy, he'd actually need to be present. Mm, which is a problem. Correct. The only time he's in, he's either eating, sat on the toilet or asleep, or any combination there. And you're not getting the uh, necessary one-to-one -one consideration, eh? Mm, see, expanding the size of the family is all very well in theory. But you would probably like a little bit more practice. Something else I'd rather he was actually in the room for at the time. Yeah, I can see the logic in that. I mean... It's not like I'm making any unreasonable demands. Mm. Where's the fun in that, eh? I'm serious. There must be some uh, devious lady tactics you could resort to. You mean dress up? I wasn't specifically going that way, but still. <laughs> 